Hello. Welcome back. Today, we're... We're opening these packages. And of course, um, we do, um, we blurred out, um, and we marked out this, cause if you're making, um, a video and everyone could see it, do you think, um, you want them to be able to know where, uh, their information? Bridget's very concerned about privacy. Steve leaves his address on all of his, so people can send him more stuff. Oops. Either way. All right, so um, uh, we had our first mail, um, oh. sports-related mail yesterday. We got a couple things in the mail today. I think at least three of these are mail-related. The big one might be related to Gloomhaven, the game we're playing over there. We got a new Magic the Gathering map, just to mix things up. I have a bunch of these things, so we'll just see what looks good. All right, Bridget, pick one of those. Why does this up. feel like a book? It's pretty heavy. I think I know what it is, but I could be wrong. Okay. Which one do you want to start with? This one. Pick one, all right. Uh, no, 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 I already, already um, cut that so that you can just open it without us having to mess with the knife. Mm. Yep. Ah. I knew you wouldn't have to use the knife. Mm. Uh -huh, I was right. Yeah, lay it down on the camera and I'll explain it to you. Tor mm -hmm. Lay down in the camera. There you go. So, let's get this around. This is a laser cut piece of uh, some wood that makes this thing here. It's a Gloomhaven player board. Uh, if you've ever played Gloomhaven, uh, there's a lot of components to it. You probably know that. If you haven't, uh, you've got you know, your health board, your experience, your items, um, your goals, uh, your action cards, um, what is it, you know, statuses, there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. It's hard to keep maintaining it all. So I found this on Etsy, had really good reviews. I had to wait for the guy to like laser cut it and then ship it to me. So I get to assemble it. And the next time we play Gloomhaven, which is over on the, to your, the cameras right here, there's a whole bunch of Gloomhaven stuff. Um, probably this Friday? Actually, no, we're going to a geocache this Friday. But next week, we will uh, play some Glue Haven in style. Wait, you mean Mango Madness? Mingo Madness, yeah. Mingo Madness? Not Mango. All right, you coming back? Or are you going to open the rest of these, or am I opening them? Oh, and if you don't know, Mingo Madness um, is the um, is a geocache. That's right, for, geocaching. Um, for you folks that don't know what geocaching are... Oof. Imagine a oh, treasure you... hunt that the entire world does and goes on forever. <laughs> Everyone hides their things, gets to name what it is. You have to do different things and find where it is. Have different tools and a lot of different stuff. And um, Mingo Madness is one of um, the first um, is the first geocache that actually um, is not lost. Yeah, it's the oldest geocache in the world. Kind of like visiting Mecca for geocachers. So that in the original stash park. We're gonna visit it on Friday. That's right, all weekend actually. Dad, this is seriously. Um, if, if they want to, like, go, um, go on, can you please tell them the link, because I don't know. For geocaching? Yeah. yeah it's geocaching.com. And I'm origami folder there, too, if you decide to go look me up. i got a bunch of geocaches in the Kansas City area, including the oldest one in the state. Yeah. And a couple of high favorite ones. Oof, a lot of cards in here. I think I know what this is. I think it's all the same player, believe it or not. Can you slide that out? Mm. Yeah. All right. Show him the name. Tim Grunhard. Close. Tim Grunhart. Grunhart. Yeah. Grunhart. Tim Look. Grunhart was a Chiefs player Look. Uh, in the 90s. He's the center. Mom. I played center. I wanted to go to Notre Dame. Mom's and, here. Uh, I'm a Chiefs fan, so. <laughs> Mom's busy. 
But anyway, these are his rookie cards. Are like 37 of his rookie cards, and a whole slew of other things in here. The uh, Chipotle is over there, honey. If you get hungry. We are not affiliated with Chipotle. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't eat. We are oh, doing some. Oh, and this companies. is not um, so, um, sponsored by Chipotle. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This is what they call a um, team bag. I don't know. I'm still learning terms. I think I just jacked this thing up. That's okay. I can always find another bag. All right, here we go. You want to take a stack? I'll take a stack. Cool. Let's take forever to go through all these. We can kind of just show some highlights. So, uh, Tim Garnhart. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame, but I really liked him as a player. I got to meet him once. He actually, for a while, owned a uh, restaurant down in the Kansas City Plaza. That's a good sharp card right there. These cards look to be in pretty good condition. And there's a lot of different ones, too. Oh, we got two. I need my help. If you guys uh, go help this person. Okay, sure, man. Nice tops card there. A lot of duplicates, but also a lot of a lot of variety. I mean, I think there's nearly 200 cards in here, so there's going to have to be some duplicates. Um, because mm -hmm. he's not a Hall of Famer or anything like that, um, I got him pretty cheap. I know people like Steve and whatnot, they definitely focus on the Hall of Famers. And don't get me wrong. <laughs> Made in the Hall of Fame. You got my respect. But um, I think anybody that made it to the NFL and for a number of years, uh, that's a pretty hard job. And again, I played uh, center for uh, five or six years. We actually went middle to school the and high school. Hollywood Walk of Fame. We did go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's not what I'm referring to, but yeah. We should go to the uh, Football Hall of Fame in Coopertown sometime. That'd be sweet. Is there that is. closer or farther? It would be closer, but still pretty far. Mm. These are really sharp cards. I mean, they're all in really good condition. I mean, I don't know if I'd send any of these off to be graded, but these definitely are a nice early addition to my Chiefs um, collection. And that is just half of them. You want to show your half, Bridger? Mm. You don't have to show them all. I'm just, I'm just kind of thumb through them. Or we can skip on and go to the next one, because you probably have a lot of the same ones I do. Yeah. I'll take those. Why don't you do the envelope? Because I think you can open that one pretty easily. I'll just flip through here and look, see if there's anything of note. Oof, there's a bunch of that card. 1990 draft, second round. Uh, hardest part of opening letters. Who put tape on this? I think the tape is to make sure it doesn't like bust open. I've seen them do that with a lot of cards. Is that Pacific? I don't know that was Pacific. Look at that. Look at that. A war Warren Snap. <laughs> sap. War and Sap. I see. Uh, yeah. Warren Sap. Look at that, yeah. Warren Sap rookie card. Yeah, and we got one more Indeed. from eBay. Mm, looks like you went to Miami. Hmm. Well, maybe let me cut that one. I will uh, make that easier for you. Sorry, this we're not re um, really the best at editing. No, I still need to find time to do that, but I got like a job and stuff, so. <laughs> and we've done a lot of yard work lately. Oh my gosh, there's a bag in the bag. Wait, I can open this bag, bag though. Can open. All right. okay. No, we're not. Hand it to Dad. Wait. I don't want to rip what's ever. Just give it to me. Wait, you don't have to strong arm it. I've got a nice knife here. The whole point of that. I know you're strong, you don't have to prove it. What's in there? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, we yeah, this one. What's what? that name? Who's at the front? What's the name at the bottom? Herman Hickman. Yeah. Okay. And we're the Hickman. That's right. I mean, it's a it's a poor. Uh, this Just card normally goes. For, I think it was going like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars in like nice condition. 
but because this was kind of beat up, I got it for dirt cheap. I think I got it for six dollars, but uh, I just wanted it because it's you know Herman Hickman and it's a lineman, and um, yeah, I think it was an all star. Let me see it. Yeah, it's definitely messed up. Tennessee there. All American, yeah. So, I don't know. Just a fun little card to add to the collection. There's a couple other people with that last name. Um, Jim Hickman was a baseball player. There's a newer one. Mason Hickman, I think it is. Okay, so those are our packages. Do you want to open a pack of cards and then we'll call it a day? Okay. We got some chromes. We got this one. I think that was from Steve, if I remember correctly. Also from Steve. And then we got some more heritage cards. Which ones look good to you? Let's go with... These are the ones that were shiny, if that matters to you. Let's go with this one. All right. Lots of good cards in there. Steve was kind enough to watch my, our last video, and he told me which cards came out of our packs were, uh, were worth protecting. So I went to... I have some penny sleeves. Actually, they're sleeves for my board games, which if you've seen in my other videos, we have a lot of board games. Um, but I don't have any top loaders, or very few actually, and those apparently are like near impossible to find nowadays. Even used, mm. they're expensive. So we're just going to have to be very careful with them until we can actually get some good protection. Alright, well, show us what you got, Bridget. Uh, Pete Farbanks? Pete Farbanks. Rays? Alright. The Rays. Welcome to the family, Pete. 2021 Rookie Stars American League. Oh, that sounds cool. One of the last ones we got. That was Rookie Stars. Pretty good. Who we got here? Joe Adele and Nick Madrigal from the American League. Nick Castellanos. Reeds? Uh, that's the Reds. Oh, Reds. Yep. Um, um Jason? I don't know. Uh, Jason Kipnis. Um, Barden. Barden Cruford. Giants. Nice. Brandon Crawford. Um, Justice. Jesus? I think my favorite part of this is how you pronounce some of these people's names. Oh, it's Jesus. It's a Hispanic sounding name. Jesus Luzardo. Um, Muckle Frank Royals. Oh, Royals. Awesome. We're probably going to personal collection. All, that's why I learned PC is personal collection. Uh, so all the Royals and the Chiefs and stuff, obviously these are baseball cards. But... Mitch Moreland um, We're gonna keep pa and Padres. Padres, Padres. Padres. Mitch Moreland, yep. What do you got? I guess it, this oh. is showing what the um what it would feel like on. It says on Clubhouse the... Collection, Gary Sanchez Game Used Memorial. Oh, that is a little piece of his uniform. Oh. So it's one of the uniforms that he wore in a game. And this one, if you see, it's got a little number there. This is number thirty-seven out of ninety-nine. So that's kind of a special card. That's yeah. really cool that it's actually a piece of a piece of the sports uh, memorabilia. Really nice. That's a cool one. Mookie Betts in action. Mookie Betts. Uh, that is Mookie Betts. That is an interesting name, I'm going to say. Uh, Miguel Caber. Tigers. Tigers. Uh, Miguel, yeah. Boyhood photos of the star. Oh, yeah. Those are kind Will of funny. Will Smith? Smith? Will Smith? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, no, you are right. Will Smith. Not uh, not the Fresh Prince. Your sister would have loved that. That's pretty funny. He's a cute little kid. Um, Justin Upton Angels? Mm -hmm. Indeed, Justin Upton. Uh, Willie Mays. Willie Mays? World Series? Maze, wow. Ah, the Willie Mays World Series MVP. Willie Mays was one of the greatest players to ever play the game. I was looking at his uh, 
His rookie card online, it is quite pricey as one would expect. Oh no. Trying to keep it all in order and pretty. Um, tree Turner? An tree Turner? Is that what you said? Uh, Trey. Trey Turner, right yeah. Zach and Godley and Red Sox. Oh, Zach Godley. Andrew Mc. Catching 2020 World um, World Series Game Two. Uh. Shame Bieber in action. Shame Bieber, yeah. Hmm. Hopefully not related to Justin. Well, that was a cool pack. Yeah. I like a lot. They got a lot of different stuff. That's really neat. The game views. We got these two guys, all the rookie stars. We got a couple of the inactions. We got an award. We got a when they were a kid. We got a Royals, which we really like. Um, that was a good pack. Hope you um liked us open our mail and also um these cards. Um, please. Uh, say if you, um, if you're, like, um, the or um, no. What? <laughs> um, the geocaching thing might sound interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? geocaching is pretty cool. I highly recommend you check it out. Yeah. So, um, remember, um, geocaching.com? That's right, yeah. There's a bunch of phone apps, too. Um... If you want to check it out, you can totally um, have a great day. <laughs> you too. I'm going to do a Steve. Be excellent to each other. Avoid the noid. Keep your stick on the ice. And go out and be the best version of you that you can be. And that's not to make fun of you, Steve. I think you're an awesome dude. And I love your positivity, man. So um, thank you slash... Uh, I'm angry at you for getting me addicted to a new hobby, but this is kind of fun. Uh, even though Burge and I don't know as much about the game as you do, it is a, a fun thing that we can do together. So, uh, Thanks, everybody, who took the time to watch. And um, we're uh, getting low. I don't have a whole lot of new stuff, so I'm going to have to go by the store, and I think there might be a couple more over there. But uh, I do have some more mail coming, so we'll all uh, make videos as we can. But, uh, yeah, our first uh, Monday mail day. So, All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.